You're yeah. here oh, with just like an Arab. Nikki Rodriguez. It feels Wait. with a. I feel like I should get my glasses. With it's good. It's either hood or it's Arab. You know <laughs> what I mean? And Ethan. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, I, hi. I'm Nikki Rod. Is it a weird how people have glasses on and you're like, I don't, I don't trust this person. Like if they, if they wear glasses inside, you're like sunglasses, 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 like your brother. I'm thinking bro. Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) No, But if you meet somebody and they're they're indoors wearing sunglasses, you're like hiding something. You're maybe they just had LASIK. (laughs) They could have uh, sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis. Yeah, yeah. Spell it. It's when Uh, they're uh, they can't sleep. I would guess S A R C O D. No, that's insomnia. I don't know. Sarcoidosis. Narcolepsy. D-O-S-I-S. Sarcoidosis. But um, Andrew Tate wears sunglasses uh, inside, and then he Why? blames it on the fact that he had a detached retina From in a fight. kickboxing, and bright lights true? hurt him. I think he's being a bitch. But, like, well, Sorry, I mean, it's Andrew a cool Tate. excuse. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, is, is is there, cool? If there's any excuse, if there's any excuse, his, that would be the excuse. His eyes look a little weird. <laughs> I mean, you his could eyes also look like his eyes? Oh. By a it looks like he's had some sort of uh, injury, just from if you look. Dude, he's, you just like, he's like this. <laughs> he's like, no, I've been hit. No, you never look so, <laughs> that's the last thing that women right see. Right scratch, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> he's like, he's like that's I'm a top G. I'm the top G. Oh, my God. You remember when DC fought John Jones and his eye was like loopy? It was attacked right now. What? No, yeah, he got he that. DC what? caught an eye poke when he fought John oh, Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And his eye was like detached. I don't remember. Yeah. Eye. It was like a, it was like a heavy. I don't remember eye seeing it though. He's like his his left eye was sleeping and the right eye was awake. What? Eh. You know, I personally cool. know multiple people. Like I'm a I'm a Terrorist? random people. I'm I a random person. Well. Let me finish. Come on, how do you? I'm a random person in Australia, and I know multiple people who have done cocaine with John Jones. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> I have no real connection to John Jones whatsoever. You know what I mean? There's no reason for that. Well, it was me, right? other than me and John Jones, yeah. and I knew, and all of them were Australian. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're all doing yeah, okay. Other, no, other than <laughs> me doing people. Wow. There's no meaningful connection to John Jones. Are you saying so John how many, Jones does? Cocaine? I'm saying he must have done it with a so lot of many people. people. We know somebody that's done it with him. Oh, do you do know? Can we I'm say gonna it? say it. Say uh, it. Oh. He doesn't even train Jimmy. You remember Jimmy? Yeah, remind me though. Uh, <laughs> He's from Henzo. He's like one of the funniest dude back in the day. Jimmy. He he was John Jones's roommate in college. Whoa, Jimmy. Yeah, That's Jimmy. Cool. That's that man would have cool had some insights. Oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Probably some good stories. Wait, guys, we have TikTok. Go check us out. We're gonna be. What is our TikTok? Our TikTok is <laughs> Ethan Krellinson. <laughs> Ethan Krellinson. No, 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 no. It is the Simple Man Podcast. The, Quite easy to remember. The Simple Man Podcast. The Simple Man Podcast. Okay, right. cool. Well, yeah, follow check. us on TikTok. Yeah, give us a do follow. Do we have any content be... on there? We do. We have four posts and four plenty, posts. More to, plenty more to Wait, come. Wait, four posts? No. We just made this. We should post once a day. Is it, is, are they just good posting Clearly, everything? as you can see, we have some <laughs> internal uh, <laughs> division. Division. We have, to, we have something to our settle. social media and, uh, the manager. We'll have this discussion <laughs> off camera. <laughs> Guys, Violent Hippie. Massive supplements, get the smashing green, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. <laughs> but uh, Dude, our, our they're TikTok the, They're manager, the crabs who are pulling the, cra- the crab that wants to get out of the bucket. They're pulling his legs down. Remember we were at some... Uh, what? We, we, were, at, we were, were fucking with ants one time, you and me. Yo, we were fucking with ants and we were in, we were in a grocery store and there was one crab trying yeah. to escape. And what did no. I, I like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were like, fuck you. What? <laughs> no, no. What Was it bad or good what I did? I forget. Well, you, think you, good, you think he was going to escape and live? And find his way to the ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> you just just in Texas. Texas. You're like, be free. <laughs> Run. <laughs> He's, he goes your shopping. chance. He pushes the a crab. trying to eat a cactus. <laughs> He's like, act yeah. normal. Act normal. <laughs> be a human. <laughs> he tries to walk forward. He's, <laughs> He's like, I have to pay my taxes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm a human. I'm a human. Imagine if an animal he gets could, audited. Imagine somehow an animal could figure out a way. Mark me a crab. You get these sardines. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Something's, Something's wrong. You must, you must. Are you a crab? <laughs> no. Well, what right. are you saying? I don't, all right. I don't want to. If I don't get like an in to say what You're I want to say. You're not. This is how you, f- you fight for your chance to speak. All right. All right. No, I was on, just going to say, imagine if somehow uh, some kind of animal developed enough. Intelligence? Like, yeah, intelligence. To just earn money, couldn't do much else, but it could earn. Have you ever seen a, by 
I think that's what? The you, ever see, you ever see the people working at Walmart just say hi? <laughs> oh, you're fucked whoa. up. Wow. <laughs> you are, that's going to get that's hate. That's an insult to what? everyone I'm at Walmart. I'm saying the people that are saying just hello at I, Walmart Home uh, Depot, I mean, that's the, jo- that's the job. Oh, you're heart. saying they're animals. Are we not animals? He, this is we how are we not, we are going to get canceled. He's going to make are a public we, apology. I do not. Yeah, yeah. We're going to need all of you. Are we not animals? Yes, we're animals. We're animalia. What? Animal, animal kingdom? What? Animalia? We're yeah, not. We're not. Write that kingdom? down and Google it. Doesn't exist. You no, 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 no. That doesn't exist. I know it doesn't. Exist. Exist. Animalia? Yes, Animalia, yes, yes. bro. That, that doesn't exist. Bro, I don't think, think it exists. Yeah, yeah. That, like that's our. Word. Um. That's our. What is it? Our genus? Genus? It's on our penis. <laughs> no, I think we're the animal kingdom. Kingdom, kingdom. kingdom phylum class, order, family, genus, species. I forget. Animalia kingdom. Kingdom. Oh, it's a kingdom. All Animalia are a member of the kingdom Animalia, also called Metazoa. This kingdom does not contain prokaryotes. Kingdom Monera includes bacteria, blue-green algae, he or gets protists. Lucky, honestly. Call kingdom me, call me Rod Huberman. You say things, you get lucky. You just got get lucky. Dude, I know facts. You just what got you called about? out, and you were right. Wow, and you were wrong. Okay, damn. Well, what, every All now right. and then, there's a you, you know, know an outlier. I don't think so, I've ever been wrong. So do you remember? Uh, do you guys know who Neil deGrasse Tyson is? Yeah. yeah. So I was listening to something NDG. that he was saying. Yeah, my boy, my NDG. <laughs> my. <laughs> no, no, continue. <laughs> Go on. So I was listening to something that he was. Uh, it was like a podcast or something, and he was saying, "Imagine this. So, our closest, our closest relative, right, uh, is like the the, the, the ape, right? Is my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, like our ape, right? The species, like the closest species to us, are are apes, right? And it's just. Uh, a, a small, essentially, um, a small change in the DNA. Now we have we have us, right? And such a huge discrepancy in intelligence. Now, what if the next, like, if there's a, a the the future evolution of us, right? Just another small split split in the DNA. Imagine the intelligence that they could have compared to us. So it's like squid. The, Squid are well, very squid smart. Squid yeah, are very yeah, but smart. we're smarter than squid. They're, they, uh... <clears throat> I think, I don't think... How do you I know, know we're smarter than squid? How do you know? Our, because our ability to problem solve. And yeah, but how do... We, how we, we write have poetry. A, we have with colors. Show, all, right, all right. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too stupid. Do you think there's any... disability. <laughs> do you think there's any animals, like, whether land or sea, that have the same mental capacity that we do? Although well, they might not have the ability to disperse information. Well, the octopus is the next, or is it dolphin? I think it's Orca. either octopus or dolphin that, that's know, the next smartest. Some people think eating mushrooms is what made the monkeys. No, no, no. That's heard, called the stone that. ape theory. Yeah, that's I from Terrence McKenna. Ape. I like that. The that's man's a I charlatan. Okay, I want to be the one who splits again. You hear right? that, McKenna? Yeah. He's, he's a dead. charlatan? He's dead, I think. You think he's Do you dead? say oh, he's a really? charlatan? What do you mean? So, I think so. Really? I don't Do think, think he was a charlatan. Full of shit? I think he's fucking... Well, he was just a bit out there. He well, I think he just did a bunch of drugs and, you know... is He does say things that seem profound. How would that force us to evolve, though? Well, so I don't know. This, well, to well, this, is, like, this is the whole thing, right? So it's like you have these apes that just like these mushrooms, and now they, they start breaking into this next form of consciousness, writing poetry, doing using art, using tools, using well, well, well actually. Uh, so the shrooms so, gave the uh, the apes a no, bigger, no, no, bigger no, 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 mental capacity. Yeah, Nicky yeah. Ross is gonna start telling people this. I'm asking. So the question is, obviously, how did we go from some monkeys to Nicky Rods and cars uh, just and as this. monkey? Okay. So when another mother might say, so something must have happened, some kind of a strange event, or something should have triggered that. So with, then the, we do, the, the, we don't know, and this is like a fringe theory. All right, I have another another. Fringe, well, it's not a theory; it's a another, hypothesis. Right? I have another fringe theory, theoretical hypothesis. Sure, I'm this. All right, we could be the bastard, the bastard child of aliens. We the could. aliens oh, were like, well, well, they're, listen, they're, the, the aliens the left. Sky a- could be pink. Listen, listen, the aliens left Alienville, right? Yeah. They come fly up on Earth. They're like, oh shit, these monkeys, but they got a fat old ass. Let me see what's up. <laughs> they cream pied one, <laughs> and then out pops a human. That's what I'm saying. Evolution. Uh, Big brain, monkey well, body, there, there alien. Is, bo- I'm right, with you. So on that. I and, could, and then look at the Egyptians, the long head. Well, sparrow. I to- I totally could be wrong, but there yeah. is something in the Bible <laughs> actually. That discusses the Bible is your source. Listen, listen. They they, they discuss Nephilim. Nephilim. What's Nephilim. Nephilim. Netflix. N- yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Nephilim. No, no, I've heard no, this no. I think it's Nephilim, 
which are like you guys know a angels, lot of theories, huh? angel, half, uh, half angel, half human, something like that. Well, it's oh, like the, that makes the, sense, well, bro. I well, know. like because right. they're and the thing is, what's crazy? So there right. are a lot of uh, of other cultures that talk about you know these giant angels beings. or yeah, giant beings or these these uh, creatures that came from the sky and had and mated with Nicky the Rod. women. That imagine, man, dude, I'm imagine a right. man. Sixty foot tall, you you would fit in the palm of his hand. Imagine a man. Like Why would like, I imagine that? Because like Jack and the Beanstalk and shit. Why like, would? What's the well, point? Giants. Of yeah, like the whole well, idea. No, no, the no. whole idea is like they're you giants. You misunderstood. I, I just said giants. imagine. I didn't ask you if you should or shouldn't. I don't. I'm not that imaginative. I'm more realistic, and it's pretty realistic for aliens to be banging monkeys <laughs> and, making, <laughs> and making humans. You ever see a monkey? That thing is fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> throwing that shit like. <laughs> listen, I got grandma. <laughs> you seen that video? <laughs> what? You got? No. Wow, you guys. You guys know all these theories. Do Dude. you know the video I'm talking about? <laughs> no. Where the uh, monkey flings the poop and then like the camera it, it hits a grandma goes, face. And there's a poop on a grandma's oh, face, and someone no. goes, "It got grandma." Damn. Oh, no, watch no. it when you're watching this podcast. New I, I saw watch a monkey video. push Whoa. another monkey off a platform. Oh, the orangutan. Boom. Ha- have yes, you orangutan. seen? Is it called the? What there's the largest chimpanzee? Orangutan is no, it's a no, special no, no, no. type of gorilla. Special type, oh, not of gorilla. Uh, gorilla. King Kong, bonobo, King Kong. No, no, a type of chimpanzee, <laughs> I believe. World's largest it's, and his enemy, Nicky Godzilla. Is this fucking <laughs> <guy>? <laughs> yeah. They can't be one without the other. Have you ever heard of? I believe it's called a gray bear. No. Oh, halfway not. between white and black. Yes. You guys know too much useless no, shit. The gray bear <laughs> apparently crazy. was the reason why uh, we stopped traveling across like hmm. um, the Bering Strait. And then, you know, the, the thing started flooding. They, they were, it's like almost twice the size of a polar bear. <laughs> the gray bear? I think it's called the gray bear. I could totally. I've never heard of or it. Or the That's short-faced the gray one. bear or something like that. Have you seen this? The short-faced bear? Look at this video. Oh, oh, oh yes, I did see it. You I saw it? See it? Yeah, yeah. Want to watch a funny video? Yeah, sure. So this is a video of a grandma getting no shit thrown. Oh, no, how crazy oh, is well, it? I need to watch this video. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How crazy is that? Just, let, I mean, that's I'm just send human this to, fun. Oh wow, I'm gonna send this to to Jim. The more I watch a video like that, Jim, the, I'm gonna send this to you first, so I can. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So, so we have this, so they can. That's see something we yeah, so We're part play. monkey. How crazy oh, is that we're at a point of, in time in history? Ready? We can show each other videos of random shit around the world. It's <laughs> pretty great. That's crazy. The spread of information. Wow. Wow. And if you're out in China, you haven't seen any of those. All right. Now that everyone saw this video, <laughs> why do you think that happened? What? Did he's I, pissed that he got bananas. He he, did, he got like lettuce or something. Or lettuce. I, got I a gift. think it was just... And he's like, no. I think why? it was just... Okay. It, first, my first thought was like, all right, maybe he's jealous because of the lettuce. Yeah. All right. But then I think more. I'm like, lettuce ain't even that good. Maybe if it was a banana, it'd be like, you know, out of spite. I think he just did it because he was like... I have the opportunity to push this guy off and and make a fool of him, so I will take that opportunity. I think it was <laughs> that. I think he j- just did he it. He just like did it out of like it's I'm instinct. I, it's I can do this, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's instinct. You ever see uh, somebody standing next to a pool? And you're like, I should push this guy. In the yes, pool. yes. That's the what uh, just uh, they just don't have like, so actually. Oh, oh, the frontal, the the frontal lobe is in there. Pre-frontal yeah, cortex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, amygdala. Yes, yes. Amygdala. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. The yeah, human medulla medulla oblongata. Breathing, breathing, and autonomous <laughs> functions, I believe. Right? And anger in alligators. Well, the prefrontal really? frontal cortex, right? That, that's what that's the, the diff- thinking they, brain. The gators but, but have. But that's what stops us from actually yeah, yeah. acting on our intrusive thoughts. Not some people. Huh. Some people throw the rock. <laughs> some people. <laughs> well, you know, would you ever do that as a kid? You ever Yo, pick something up, pretend to throw it? Chuck it. Oh yeah, oh, I once got in so much trouble. I once no. I was in uh, elementary school, Solomon Schechter. And uh, we were on a field trip one day and I had or my friend had an apple and it was like a shitty apple. And he's like, I don't want this. You want this? I'm like, no, but I take it and I throw it out the window because <laughs> I thought it was like cool. And it hits a motorcyclist. Oh, oh no, off, out, his helmet. off of, of a school bus or something. I, I was we were in the school bus. OK, OK. And I throw it out. Did the you window. say that? Did you say you were in a school bus? <laughs> Did I? I don't, I don't think know. so. You just started saying talk about the, the throwing out the window. But, anyway, school okay, bus. Go on. And I throw it out the window, and it I hear like a boom, boom. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I guess it, it – immediately I was like, oh, it could hit something. I <laughs> should have thought this through. The guy gets fucking so angry, goes in front of the, the school bus, tells him to pull over. I get in so much trouble. It was terrifying. Anyway, 
That's my story. I uh, shot a bitch. I shot one of my aunts. I shot her right God. in the with what? A he, with, gun? A, with a BB, like a little yellow. <laughs> you BB. could have blinded her. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I was the, a kid. I was that's pretty, way worse. I was. I was so this is a crazy. What's question. What's the religious mark right here? Oh, that's from we, the BB we'll, gun. We'll talk about that next. That's a, that's a good. That's a good thing. What if he was just going around? That's a cool thing. So I've heard. I this could be wrong, but I've heard it has some like patriarchal things to it where it's like women are reminded to not look men in the eye now look at how I thought, it's it, on I their thought own. it was like a like just you, like a don't challenge your husband kind of thing i thought it was a hierarchy thing like the ones with that are like in a certain well like some of the markings they're something. not all equal like are you talking about the bindi there's like no, a the, yellow the red, dot. The red dot. yeah that's a that's called a bindi a bindi okay, what does but that then mean? there's other markings that are like hindu religiosity so if you ever see like a mark like that like a black mark or three white marks across that you like Hinduism. Hinduism is like a bunch of different beliefs and like different like sub religions that have yeah, different well, there, there's individual a, there's gods. Like, there's like thousands or millions. Thirty two million gods. Millions. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Which which so which means Hinduism is bullshit, right? That's not very nice. <laughs> I'm just that's like you could have Hindu thing. listeners. <laughs> no, no, no. Well that, that's it. that's <laughs> it. that's the thing with like Hinduism. Like even if I I saw a video the other day. It was a breakdown of all, of the major different um, types of Christianity. How do you like major different denominations? The denominations are called. Yeah, yeah we have we have so a bunch actually. There's like well, there's also non-denominational, but there's like Catholic, Protestant, Lutheran. Yes, yes. What part are the rapists? And he told so the Catholics. What, what, the Catholic. But the, but in the beginning he said yeah. they're all Christian because there was like the Nicene Accord or something when they decided on a set of criteria for you to be Christian. So you had to like believe well, in it Jesus, just believe in salvation. Believing in Jesus Christ is but is what determines. What, what I mean to say is, even though there's many denominations, they all believe in Christ in some form. So there's something that binds them together. Yes, yes. With well, Hinduism, they're, they're very different. With though. Hinduism, though, some of the beliefs are so different. Uh, like some gods, like like, and sometimes it'll be similar stories, but then their god is the main god, and the other gods are like. M- mini gods and yeah, doing other shit. Kind of uh, worships worships their own. The God, stories huh? are actually very interesting. I I learned a lot about them. Mm. Like the kind of I guess you some people say mythology, but they they believe it's real. Yes, that's yes, a religion. Yes. And the stories it's like same as like Norse mythology or Greek mythology. It's very yeah. interesting stories that have like lessons to them. Well, I think all these all these stories that come from whether it's it's religion or just mythology in general it's like there's a lot of wisdom to be gained from these legends that are passed on i mean you can say like whether or not you believe in the bible if you read the bible and you learn messages or lessons from them it's still it's still wisdom it's, it's a, a very wise book. I, I think a lot of religion was meant to help people do better like be better person make better decisions so you're not just like this chaos right of <clears throat> us being true animals right and then I also think it's just been so like taken advantage of, as in as in everything is kind of like that. Right? I think it's everything. like it's like a a way also to gather masses and align them for like one cause, so you can like organize people and like lead them better. Yeah. Also, it's a way maybe to uh, facilitate pe- like make people more okay with going to war because that makes them more okay yeah. with dying for a cause because oh, yeah. you're like yeah, well time. you're gonna get whatever 72 virgins yeah. or you're gonna go to hell because you're dying in battle or valhalla because you're dying yeah, in battle yeah. like so many religions are there's like a, an answer to the afterlife because like so it's what makes you know, it worth it yeah, makes the struggle not worth it off, like, I, and then it makes those those groups uh, prosper because they're okay with death. Imagine mm-hmm. you go you go against like a group of a hundred people. Benefits. Imagine you go against a group of a hundred people who are not scared to die, and you're all like, "No, there's no afterlife on your side." So you're like, "Fuck, I, I okay, you guys, yeah, chill the fuck out, you win." Well, well, so those groups probably I would push prosper back more. On that. I would maybe. push back on that because also no, no, no. <laughs> well, every for the most part, every um religion, a, every well. every religion pretty much had an afterlife, the, like. The idea of like atheism, like yeah. ca- is kind of. No, there were real- there were guys, there were very old philosophical, even Indian schools of thought. Like for example, Buddhism doesn't have a deity. Um, Theravada they Buddhism. Believe, don't they believe in like Nirvana? Is, Ter- is, is Dalai Lama is Dalai Lama Buddhism? So there's three main He's schools of Buddhism. Wait, wait, can, can I can I uh, push back on this and we go back to that? Sure. Yeah. So um, write it. You want to write it? So the, sure. uh, what I honestly think about religion, I think. Um, because <clears throat> you were saying that it's it's a way to to kind of control the masses. I actually would think that control or uh, lead. Okay, or lead. I think it's actually Gatherer. the opposite. I think it's I think 
there's a group of people that genuinely do believe in this and like there are people that are poor that that have come across whatever religion but then i believe humans at power then see this and now yeah. try to use that i think it's so i don't think it's a tool the, I think they saw the opportunity to control them saying, oh, God wants us to do this. Yeah, to take advantage exactly. of Exactly. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily – I think it's like the evil yeah. doings of the leadership. I don't actually necessarily think it's think evil. It's, I think it's it's probably smart. It's it's, it's a just, way to well, organize. Well, no, I think it's evil. Imagine it's you evil. have uh, millions of people yeah, and but, you're like, you have to – dude, you got to do, do something with them. They're going to like riot or they're going to – you got to like like – Get you think, them in line somehow because okay, okay, right. they could turn on a government. You but think, if there's a god, they can't, yes. you know. So you think maybe that I'm using a populist's religion to go to war isn't evil. No, yeah, but what, what, <laughs> what, it's not evil, but it's smart. Okay, I'm well, not it's saying smart. it's not smart. What religion was uh, Genghis Khan? Yeah, he, he didn't have come. a religion. Uh, was atheist? They, so Mon- this, Mongols. This is, this Mongols. Was, yeah. no, that's not a religion. No, I know. Uh, the Mongols. This, I know this. I so I'm going to answer Okay, it. go ahead. One, one thing. So the, a lot of this is one like Dan Carlin. He has this problem with people who almost seem to write about uh, Genghis in a positive light. Because even though he killed millions of people, because he was very tolerant. Because a lot of these, even in the Roman uh, government, one of the reasons they persecuted Christians was most of these religions would worship each other's gods and you would mix and it kept everybody happy. But Christianity, any religion that said there's only one God, that would cause issues with people. So he, his thing was like, keep the peace, pay your taxes and follow whatever religion you want. Oh, this yes. is what but, Genghis Khan said. But, no, no, Genghis Khan. But he said the other catch is you have to pray to your gods for our victory. And anytime he would come through a place, kill everybody, massacre, do everything, and they'd be like, oh my God, God's going to punish you. He goes, hang on, hang on. Why would your God let me do this? Your God must want me to do this. I am the wrath <laughs> he's of your a psycho, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, no, but his, his logic was clean. I am a plague sent There's, by your God. The Vatican yeah. actually has letters to the Pope and the Khan's responses. I used to do this in, in school. Crazy. I'd be like, have that. you That's can read that. You can crazy. read the conversation these two wow, dudes really? had. What language? And it's, Listen, it's, it's w- an incredible. It's really I would incredible. have the same like train of thought when I was in high school. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to study real hard for this test. And and, and and it turns out I failed the test. I'd be like, God wanted me to fail the test. <laughs> my mom be this like, this is all <laughs> part of the plan. Well, well, mom be like, listen, we study all night long. What's wrong with you? I'm like, listen, it was in God's hands. He wanted me to fail. <laughs> there was nothing I could the do. Biggest, the he's, biggest way. He's taking the test with the eyes closed. Yeah, he's like, this, this is in God's hands, yeah. dog. If you want to checkmate someone who he's believes in God, table. you ask him two questions. Okay, ask me. I'm you say You say to them, is God... All powerful, uh, and, and or all knowing, or, or yeah, okay. all, all, or so all loving. Yeah, so he's letting, like, I yes, it, yes. Like, for example, if I was a, in a room, and there was a chick there and another dude, and the dude started being weird with a chick, it's within my power to, to stop, stop the guy, yes, and I would a hundred percent do it. There's no situation I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. So if God is in a position to stop genocide. Like yeah, all yeah. rapes of children, the horrific acts that go on in the world. Why doesn't, why doesn't he? he stop him? So that is that means he must be a, a bad person or a, a well, malevolent, a, a malevolent entity, or you know, yeah, he, he he can't control it. He can't affect the outcome. Yeah, that's that's like a, the whole question against it, right? Is what it's already what if it's already written? Well, it could be already written, but uh, what, what it's I written think by that, who? Already, written by who? God. Well, what I think. Or, so there's two reasons, two main reasons why I think. Um, I believe in God. Well, for, just to, to go against this, though, is uh, if everything was perfect and there was no suffering, then we'd be living in heaven. So there, there, there ultimately has to be suffering in the world. Like, like if the there's no world. suffering, you don't appreciate anything. You don't, you don't appreciate good or what you have. There has. Hang on. So there has to be rapes sunshine, of children. There has to be. There has to be. Like, no. Every, every, bro, it happens in nature. It does. What rape? Well, well, You're saying rape should happen? No, no I'm, ju- I'm just saying. Sh- I'm just saying it happens in nature. It's not. It's not just like a like. It's a natural thing. Not, although it's fucking horrific. But if you you could go on uh, Nat Geo and see a, a walrus. But hang on, is, is, is God could, letting that happen? Yes. Why? Because well, because he's people, in control. Right? Think about it. Like it, like people have free will still. So then. There's gonna people are gonna be using that. Okay, that's for, for, that's an interesting thing too. Well, then so you do, do people have free will? Because I think it's can, it can be proven. Okay, 
Absolutely. But now the that next you, people don't have what free will. What is free will? Free will, free will doesn't exist. Like it's, it's a doesn't it? It's a it's figment a of your imagination. You, you believe in determinism. I mean, I, that's what you believe. Oh, I think we're free. We definitely free. No. Okay. What, how quick. are we not free? Please tell me how so we there not is exist. free will. So no, there is no God. So okay, one is just how much genetics affect your thoughts about things. So people, an easy way is you could you could see you could perform an experiment where let's say I ask you a question like. Think of a movie title. You've thought of one? And okay. you can't think about what you're thinking. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to think. I'm think. Give me 30 se 10, five seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. All right, go. Right, okay. Go. I got it. What's the movie title? Fast and Furious. Fast Two. and Furious. Two. Okay. Now, you well, can you only think of the okay. first The first fact. This is a Sam Harris thought experiment. First thing he would say is you can only, only name movie titles that you're aware of. You can't name any of the Bollywood movies I know because you don't know that they Bollywood? Exist. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Stay, stay with me here. Right. So already you don't have unlimited free will. You have there is some limit on on the amount of will you can exercise. The next thing I, is I would di heavily disagree with that because I could just look up movie titles and be like, oh, I have now I know all these movies. We're, we're gonna move forward. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> the next thing is you only say what you think in that moment, and you have random thoughts all the time that you don't control. I think you can control your thoughts. You can you can dictate where you're going to like if if I say all right in an hour today I'm going to spend an hour sixty minutes of focusing on my instructional. The next hour is going to be focusing on cooking food. So that's, so that, that's what happens. Your thoughts. your mind forms volitions or intentions to do things. Mm -hmm. So there's like obviously like you get hungry, you're gonna go, you're gonna do he this. He could have just there's, as easily answered with a non-coherent sound. <laughs> that, there is there is free will. No, hang on. Okay, here, here's a perfect. He we're we're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. We went from we we talked about all these random topics. Mm -hmm. It is as much a mystery to me what I'm gonna say next as to what you're gonna say next. No, I have not, not worked this before. Coming. No. When I, do you ever think no one thinks before they speak? What? <laughs> you think Bro, before I, you <laughs> speak? <laughs> yes. No. Bobby, when, Bobby, when Bobby. you're in an active conversation, Bobby, you know, just come. This is how I know we're very Fight. we're vastly different, right? The other day you were like, I'd much rather be careful what you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I said a lot. A yesterday. lot of people are gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm a naturally quiet guy, and the other day you were like, I if I'm in a if I'm in a group with people and nobody's talking, I'd much rather talk than listen. Oh yes, I remember. This. I was like, okay, that's your free will being like, fuck, I can't wait to say a million words and just see if I can get a laugh. Here's that's why it's a good guess. example. Me, people have listen, personalities. I'm, even as children I'm not done I'm not done All right. but, but me I think be before I speak okay. if I'm just reacting it's just going to be reaction animalistic but because I have free will I say I'm not going to talk yet I'm going <laughs> to think about it I'm, okay. I'm going to think about it and then say Obviously. just like your jujitsu we do the best to, to uh, practice to make great reactions but until uh, we get there we have to think about it and then build those reactions okay, well, okay. obviously we are capable of thought and we do think Okay, so then obviously you can go, you can consider options, and you can plan, and you can use your mind in that way. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm saying you, you're not necessarily authoring that process. I think, yeah, what's whatever's controlling this, this fucking man done, that's what's controlling. Well, the, that's there's what not even saying. a you're part of your brain that's like a you're command saying center. This is just determined by time. We have no control over. You, it. It's that's just it's saying. it's momentum. You're, Imagine someone. Well, like, all right, hold on, hold on. You, let, you me, let me say something. Let me, let me say something. Someone hands you a piece of paper and they're like, don't open this piece of paper until tomorrow. And you go about your day. You choose everything. You go about your day and you're like, this is my free will day. Then at the end of the day, you open up the paper and it was a list, step by step instruction of your entire day. You're like, how did this guy? I don't believe in that, but that's what. So, no, is being let, 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 me, let, me, let me explain. Let me explain. No. So, basically, what, what the, the, this idea of determinism is the fact that, like, okay, so first you didn't control your mom and dad having sex, yes. they had you, okay? Yes, yes. Now your genetics are already predisposed to make certain decisions. Then growing up, you had certain life experiences that you also couldn't control, and that's the reason why you are today. Why I don't think the way that you think. Because things that happened through your life experience that you actually had no control over. I genuinely don't believe that. And my counter to that is that you can take two siblings with a, a fucked up childhood or two of the same, two, two kids, identical situations, and then one child can look at their life situation, like say their parents are, are drug addicts or something. One kid can say, I'm, you know, a victim of my my environment i'm also going to do drugs i'm also going to follow the the you know go down the wrong path and then other one can look at and see that as motivation so that's why i don't believe that's that's due to the due to um it's for sure dangerous to, to think that you can't, that you do can't control it to help yourself like and, to, and to make your situation better
<clears throat> and and having I think that, that's it's probably a, a good way for people to just be like because ha- like you can be happy in no matter where you are in life right if you're piss poor you're in the, you live in, yeah. a, in the garbage whatever as if as long as your ment your mental is happy <laughs> then you can be happy <laughs> I, I would honestly i would go as far as as saying even if that was the case determinism determinism was proven correct it would still be better to act as if it didn't exist because here's the benefit of being deterministic you there's no longer a basis for like regret or or anger or anxiety because well, everything's going to happen exactly wait, how it's well, happen. no explain this what, so what you you, you think so, like you think we're all supposed to be we're supposed to be grapplers from day one i was supposed to be the fucking i don't know so for so i don't believe there's something called fatalism where you think it's like already written and it's gonna ha- like if you're gonna if you're destined to be whatever the adcc champion we could keep you in a box pull you at day of ADCC, you never train, just because your destiny you win. I'm not saying that. I'm still saying, like, there's causality. Mm-hmm. And things, obviously, you know, you have to train, things have to happen. But the thing behind the cause, I'm not even stoned yet, I'm already struggling to explain this. Basically, your mind, it, if you do exercises in meditation, it's obvious that your mind is just thinking by itself. Mm-hmm. You don't control your mind. And you just kind of wake up with certain desires. People will be like married for 25 years and then suddenly be like, fuck this bitch. I'm going to go do and, and make these random turns. And you just find you wake up and you find yourself. Doing I think there's triggers things. for everything, though. Bro. There's probably triggers for everything. I don't think you just wake up one day and you're like, you change automatically. I think there's probably well, so a, a big accumulation point, of things. Yeah, but, but you, we notice how in, like uh, me coming to Austin. Maybe I heard about somebody else going to Austin. Maybe I watched the Rogan podcast. I heard, first heard Austin is a place. I might, you know. So there's a sequence of events, mm-hmm. but it feels very much like everything is kind of happening. At least to me. Well, I, I think you know we're probably uh, probably have a predisposition towards success if you're around. And, me. and that's the other thing. People have like like I said, like you said, I'm very extrovert. I talk a lot. Some people are very quiet. They don't talk so much, and they're that from childhood. There's definitely genetics definitely play a part. With your personality and and even having certain types of beliefs about it. Okay, that's another thing. What do you think is is a bigger uh, is a bigger factor in your life, like how you're raised or your genetics? Based how you're raised, how I you're believe. Raised, how, how you're raised. raised. How you're raised. Your environment. I think, I think, I think, environment. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I would argue. In, I would argue, a hundred percent environment. Because yeah. I mean, I don't even want to bring it up actually, because we're gonna get fucking canceled. But uh, oh, all right. Now I'm gonna bring it up. Um. So. I don't believe that if you're, I'm black and Asian. He's gonna I don't, say since crazy. when? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, I don't believe that Blasian. anything, anything Blasian. in this country will stop me from achieving what I want yeah, to achieve, sure. whatever I want to achieve. But, 100%. but that's because of the environment that I grew up in made me believe that. Not the, not you the were eighteen fifty. You like, but, if, yeah. if you were in eighteen fifty, you split between the cotton fields and the railroad. <laughs> So right that's now, a different lifestyle. Day. It is. It is. That's that's a different environment. I do you I, think you lived before? Like, are you reincarnated to reincarnated? this? Uh, I don't believe no. that. No. Like how? That. Like not even not even physically, but like your whatever's controlling Mental, your whatever's your, controlling your body. Your spirit, no, your no. You got one shot. This you is not, it. But you think so? Know, but so. It's all, all right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Probably. This is it, guys. We have to stop talking all over each other. We should get headphones. Yeah. We okay. I'll do that next. All right. So buy the mugs. We need headphones. <laughs> more mugs, more mugs. Yeah. I, also, I also think you're right. I didn't order our merch. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm trying. Dude, no. Everyone's getting these, these shirts. <laughs> so that just means it's a hot commodity because once yeah. we do get them, they're going to thought fast. I thought the <laughs> card got charged. Uh, anyway, go on, go on. Uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Got so so uh, um, reincarnation. You believe oh, in reincarnation? Oh, reincarnation, yeah. Okay, so you guys don't think that we were... Okay, so where does your... Obviously, we know what happens to the body after death, right? Where where does the spirit go? Does I, it, does I, it, I, it there isn't a spirit. I, I believe in heaven. There's no spirit. spirit. I believe in spirit. <laughs> spirit. I believe in spirit. <laughs> There's, no There's no spirit. spirit. There ain't shit. No. It's blackness before you get one life, and then it's no, infinite no. blackness I don't after. Think it's, I don't think That's it's blackness, man. I don't think it's blackness. It's not even that scary. It's Jesus with his angels. No, no, I think... I think, there, it's I, nothing. Think I think there is a higher dimension or higher life um, after after death. I believe so. 
I'm like sure. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Hogwarts. Do you, I don't know. I believe so. Do you think you're welcome, Bippity, Harry? Bippity, <laughs> Bippity, 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 you're a wizard, Damien. Dude, I'm dead serious. I believe so. See, you guys can mock the religion get on, all you want. Get on not, my motorbike. Yeah, I am mocking You guys yeah, are 100% mocking yeah. the religion. Yes. No, yes. I genuinely believe so. I believe oh, so. God can't stop us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, said it. There's crazy shit going on in the world. Do you think God's real? Let's that shit happen. I think yeah, I mean yeah. that's well, the there's, thing. Got, there's they, they something's got to be happening. Some I'm not saying that it's it could be a person, but maybe it's like you know maybe it's like a some kind of force superintendent's <laughs> office full of brother judges. Well, or well something. the thing is the whole idea is all right. So if you just go back to religion and like you know I'm not going to church fucking every Sunday, but it's like I definitely believe um, a lot in the in like Christianity in general. But it's like if you if you operate through that lens, Earth. You know, we're run by it's run by humans who are inherently sinners. The whole world is going to be suffering. The ideas well, that you're trying sin? to make better. Well, what's what's this arbitrary? How do you know what's right and wrong? What do you base well, that on? Well, the whole idea, the reason why apparently we un understand that I'm just going through the pure religious lens. I'm not thinking about anything else now. It's just pure religious. It's just the, what you the, wanted, wouldn't want no, someone else to do to you. No, the only that's, the only thing the so only hard. thing moral is now you know. Through God, that's that's what's right and wrong. That's the if whole. If you if you are so convinced by this that you have to repent, and Jesus is the way. How come you live the way you live? You you live a Christian life. No, but I think we're all sinners. I don't think anybody lives the way Jesus lives, except for Jesus or speak for yourself or God. You know, like we're all. That's a whole idea. Is that everyone's a fuck up essentially? So the earth cannot be a place without suffering because all of us are fuck ups. That's uh, a whole idea. That's the oh, whole lovely. teaching. What's your thoughts and opinion kids are about born fuck ups? That's crazy. What's we your... are, we are. That's nah, some, of them, some of them for sure. Some kids, I mean, born with an extra twenty or something and shit. That's fucked up. You know, once I went and I gave a seminar to a bunch of kids doing drugs and shit about like motivation wow. and doing shit. Yeah. How'd that go? Um, good. I just made him laugh. I just did, just praise again. I was doing stand up. <laughs> what you say? Drugs are great. Get on. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. One of them, there was like kids who had guns pointing in their faces and shit. Like. You guys ever do like charity work? Other than, I mean, yeah, you ever do in the sure. temple that kind of thing? Yeah. Do Do you guys think that animals, animals have spirits? There's no spirits. Nothing so. has a spirit. I think we're just we're just conscious spirits. when we're conscious and we're not when we're not, and that's it. Like, do you think animals Oof. have like a personality so, or yeah. like? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And we all have person. Everyone's like all personality. Like I mean, I'm saying yeah. all animals. Like a bird, a fucking yeah. snake. Animal Some birds are like more scared or more confident yeah. or fuckers or they're listen a little animals. weird. You know, social yeah. outcasts or like the you know yeah, the cool like bird or something. I'm gonna fucking be cracked out. How many, bird gets all the. How many milligrams of caffeine? Two hundred. Two hundred. Oh wow. Half hundred half. I mean, that's only like fifty more than a. Or no, that's like a hundred more than a coffee, right? <laughs> Uh, Coffee's like 90 or 100? Uh, uh, usually Coffee's 150. Like, is it what do you guys take on, on caffeine and stimulants and that shit for training? You guys do it? Up right great, now. great. Caffeine Caffeine's is a hell of a drug, right? Hell of a drug. Yeah. I think caffeine is... It doesn't sit well with my system. Really? You don't like, drink coffee before Not much sits well with more of a crack person. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I can barely swallow Yeah, for I, what I, you can manage i'm surprised caffeine, <laughs> caffeine is <laughs> caffeine doesn't caffeine sit well is where you can't <laughs> that's where i draw the line i'd rather right. i'd rather eat before i drink caffeine i'd much rather really this way. For yeah sure. For i just sure. coffee f number one Coffee's in the morning usually the yeah. first thing that i'm ingesting i wake yeah. up great when i, like I wake tea. up i like tea when, when I wake up, I'm I'm on. You actually don't drink coffee in the morning. You drink no. coffee after training, it's right? It's all yeah. that saturated what? fat in your blood. What? Yeah, yeah. What? yeah, because like as a natural athlete, right? You have these ups, <laughs> these highs and lows throughout your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I get a, I get a big crash after practice, and if I that's if I, when you take the coffee. if I eat a meal that have caffeine, it's much easier to get the second workout going. Mm -hmm. Like I feel substantially less tired after practice after once I have caffeine as opposed to not. Have you guys heard that? Uh, but but wait, but you don't. You actively decide not to drink coffee before training. I just don't. I don't want it. Like it doesn't. You don't help. want it. I don't like. You don't okay, want it you enough. know what? I w I w don't like the crash that coffee gives me in the morning. So so when you I have crash from really that yes. fast, huh? So well, I it have, is true. That so is. yeah, you do get a. Yeah. So I'll have. I mean, I remember experience, uh, experiencing or experimenting with this in in Puerto Rico when we're training with John, right? Oh, so, yeah, I remember the coffee shop, right? Exactly. Down the street, so yeah. I go across the street about an hour. When they're still doing MMA training, about an hour before practice, I get a by, coffee. By me and Gary. 
Yeah, we were doing the MMA training. Yeah. So well, you guys were slacking. So I'm watching MMA training. I fucking hated for and right, every, <laughs> So I'm watching MMA training, and every couple of days I I get a cough before training, and I and when jujitsu started, I'd be like on the come down from yes. the coffee, and I, I definitely I'd start crashing. You, I definitely time it, but like for me, if training's at twelve, whenever I wake up, I'll coffee and then by the time i train it's like still I'm, you're not awake in the morning like when i wake up i just i, I could i <sighs> remove the cover i fucking kip up out of bed you and i'm good up? here question when you guys wake up <sighs> do you guys so you when you when you first wake up what's the schedule do you immediately get up start your day or like or do you lay in bed for like 30 minutes all right i open first of all my my body will wake me up because I have to shit immediately. Usually, like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a morning. You sleeping? <laughs> you guys wake up for your shit? Sometimes I wake up to poop, sometimes. yes. My yeah. eyes will be closed, yeah. and I'll be like, boom, got to shit. Yeah. <laughs> They'll open it up with wow. your asshole at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I'm sitting on... Why? It's coming out fast? Uh, no, I mean, but it's there. Okay. You know, yeah, it's, it's there. You yeah. feel it. Like, full, like, full turtle shell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, prairie wow. dog. Prairie dog. Turtleneck. Turtleneck. Turtle shell. I That happened to me... Really a lot right after ADCC when I started eating, eating a lot, way more than I was. That, that time, I actually would wake up, um, to yeah, shit. to shit, yeah. and then I would shit like three times a day. Yes, and then, yes, that was. Now it's like I, I wake up, I kind of have to shit, but I'm like, I'll go drink a coffee, and then sometimes like that's just sometimes just as I smell the coffee, I'm like, all right. Time to shit. Question: How do you guys uh, go to bed? So, like, when you guys <laughs> sideways, like, um, yes, yes. So, what what time are you guys going to bed? Do you guys look at your phones while in bed, or do you shut off no. all the okay, lights? Okay, I try to boot. I try to start dimming the lights about in uh, dimming the lights and getting off my phone about sixty nine minutes before bed. So sixty nine, sixty minutes? to ninety minutes before okay. bed. So if I'm going to bed, <laughs> sixty nine, bro. If I'm going yeah. if I'm going to bed at at midnight, I try to at like. 10 35 11 cut the blue light cut cut <laughs> cut the dim the lights and then i start going to sleep uh i think the blue light plays a substantial difference in like your circadian rhythm spell circadian <laughs> c-r-a-k-adian uh, bro i would kill you <laughs> in a spelling bee dude c-r oh yeah today who wins in a spelling bee c-i-r-c-u-d-a-i-n no, 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 no. no. Say Listen, that again. Say no, go no, again. No, say, no, the C -I -R <laughs> <laughs> say the alphabet. C-I-R. Say the alphabet. A-B-C-D-E-F-G-A-H-A-K-L-M-P-Q-R-I-C-U-A. No, we have to write Okay, count, count, count. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going to run through. Yeah, come on. What's the Listen, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on the Dalai Lama banging little dudes? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. So, so let me preface Shots this, guys. Fired. So um, obviously the Dalai suck Lama. Suck my tongue. Yeah. The Dalai Lama had this, this I believe, eight-year-old boy suck his tongue. No. Bobby the, the kids is, never suck Bobby tongue. Bobby yeah, is said, very, very defensive Bobby's about this. Bobby's met the Dalai Lama. He's, you sucked his tongue too, right? Okay, let's go on. This is this. the grown-up kid now. <laughs> He's traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> this is 20 years later. That was an old right, video. So wait, Bobby, give us your... Because there there are people that are defensive. Now, to be honest, the me like social media in general just completely obliterated the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I don't know how to feel Look, about it. Actually, the Dalai do Lama. Let's just it, talk about what the Dalai Lama said. That about kid. This. If your uh, grandpa was like, "Suck my tongue," be like, "What the fuck?" Okay, hold on. Let him speak. The Dalai me. Lama said. Sorry, I. <laughs> <laughs> what he meant to say was, "Sorry, I didn't realize that cameras were like, on." He's like, "Dude, I'm dude, I am so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I don't like, know why I said that." <laughs> he's like, uh, he was like, "He found the cortex, the intrusive dude, thoughts. Suck my tongue. <laughs> suck my tongue." Bro, he was no, he was no, hugging. No, look, the kid tried to walk if, away. Listen to me. He, listen, the kid tried listen, to walk away. He pulled him back for a sniff. Stop. He's like, he said, "Come here." Is this true? Hey, oh, they were no, listen to me. If we're gonna if we're gonna be, have a serious comment, we can't be we can't be making me laugh. Okay, go ahead. We, Don't we laugh. To, if we're gonna be serious, what's okay. funny about this? this? Is a serious. We've been laughing. Okay. You've been laughing. You I just think it, I just think it's. I mean, it's crazy. It's obviously, crazy. Obviously, everything's you everything think, can be funny. Do you think he this shouldn't is have funny? done it? He shouldn't have done it. Okay, obviously. go way to start. He said sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He uh, okay, okay. That it, doesn't mean he's done other shit in the past. You could just say the dumb thing, and in their culture. As a greeting, they 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 put their tongues out in their in the into the little boy's mouth. No, they don't do it into their mouth. He just that, that's a, is that also actually, his English is bad. I'm just saying it's it's I could believe possibly that 
I don't know. He just he's he's almost, he's almost ninety. He's eighty seven years what old. So, what does the age have anything to do? Senile. To me, he, he's, he's senile. claiming he's not mentally he's claiming faculties. insanity. That's what's see, going on. See, to yeah, me, I, I think he's not. To me, I think oh, he's not. He's like eighty something. He's probably like fuck it. I only got years, few years <laughs> left. Let me let this kid suck, suck my, my tongue. Dude, Dude, look, if it is, if that's the case, then they should throw the book at him. Obviously, you know what I mean. For what sure. do you do to him? What, what, what do you do? You, you stole him. Well, he goes, no, no, yes, stole yes. him. Stone him? You give him stone. to the home when he's on O-Block. And, and another let, thing, let him run another very on. important honest, thing to consider is his people were persecuted by the Chinese. They faced a lot of human rights abuses. Mm. He is their icon, their representative. He can get them attention. This this really it, it helps Fuck the Chinese. Yep. And it, it affects uh, his but people. But you can say the same, you can say the same thing with you know? with. And that's a very important... But so, so, you're, so you're saying you're saying I'm, because I'm just saying we should just take we should we shouldn't I'm not saying we if should we say throw he the is Dalai Lama a, under the bus. We're I'm not saying the we Chinese. should say that's what he's saying. I'm not oh. saying we should say he is a pedophile. I'm not saying we should say he isn't. I'm saying we should be undecided. Thus far, it, you don't know. But isn't actually Obviously asking the a, video is troubling. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not denying the video is troubling. The video it is pedophile-ish. Absolutely, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, yes. I don't know, but I can, but I could because up until this. I've heard a lot of people speak about the Dalai Lama, and, and I know of people who've met him, and they all say he was a little. Rapey. You know what I mean? So, so I'm not gonna okay. go. I'm not gonna switch from yeah, but having if you're, a very high. If you're a Satanist, you're like, oh, this guy's not that bad. Okay, hold on, stop, stop. So the thing is, what about you see the same thing in the Catholic Church where I don't see that how that priests, has any relevance because well, they're, they're the, both religious well, figure, figures. Well, the thing is, is like, so uh, we'll say a priest, for example, like you're gonna hear a lot of great things. About the like the priest, until he touches a little boy, like it's a it's yeah, a, it's, it's kind of the possible. same thing. So it's, it's like uh, until he's on camera touching kids. I, what the, if that it, was it, your son? No, you obviously don't don't feel great about. That. All right, question for you guys. Question for you guys. Uh, um, pedophiles. What is the proper sentence? So, Bobby, you actually think, have have an interesting view. Let the on, parents decide. I'll take it. Fuck I, that. Give it to me. No, I'll, no listen, way. That's I'll, crazy. I'll tell you how to deal with it, right? Because the parents think, are going to say kill that well, guy. Well, actually, oh, then I agree with the parents. Very, I, yeah, I mean, well, I don't I'll believe in the capital punishment. I, I think, yeah, we, yeah, but you believe you believe in something interesting where it's like, so say there's a, a, a murderer, right? You actually believe that putting them in prison doesn't actually do anything because you actually believe in like reintegration or something, right? Well, well, what is your I, idea on that? I'm just saying that the aim of the prison system should be not punitive, it's not to punish people, but it's rehabilitation. To, yeah, to try to that. reintegrate. Some I mean, people cannot not be. Obviously, not for. <clears throat> obviously, that doesn't apply to all prisoners. It doesn't apply to like rapists and like really violent. Okay, criminals. What, what do you do with them then? Well, then if, you have a different. People, you have a different program. People for them. who cannot be rehabilitated. I'm just saying, if you went but, to jail yeah. for weed, let's not freaking much throw the book at you. Different. You know what I mean? And we, it's well, very what important. What is throwing the book at you for for weed? No you shouldn't. You shouldn't have like a criminal record. No one's really going to prison for weed. People some, have some been people until very it, recently. Outside of, outside of people US. in America. No, no, no. Outside no. of U.S., people are going to... No, no, no. no, no. Our, sure. We're saying America. I'm saying America then. Oh, sorry. U.S. politics. US okay, what politics. are we talking about? I'm a little bit lost. I thought all, right, all, right, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What do you... What sentence do you give to someone who is a serial pedophile? You, that guy will it. never fix himself. I got it. He, he can't no, be rehabilitated. No, this he is can't how we be fix rehabilitated. Him. This is how we yeah, fix yeah. him, right? You hang him upside down by his, oh by his Achilles, right? <laughs> you start slowly with like real dull butter knives. Just, just peel, scraping away. No, just peeling back Bro, the layers of skin, I completely skin, right? agree. Fuck that guy. Listen, You're not going to rehabilitate. Just, no, no, I mean, yeah, so you just take, look. This just is kill how him? You do it. This like, how, just, no, this is how you change. You make, him, you make him better, right? So you hang him upside down by the Achilles. <laughs> take a dull butter knife. You start peeling his skin back so you get to the bone, right? And every time they go to pass out, you give him a shot of adrenaline. Boom, wake him back up. It's just so he's there in prison, right? And this That's process, fun. this process takes <laughs> about six hours, that. right? And we start. That's a lot of taxpayer dollars. Yeah, I and think then maybe maybe we him, cut man. the maybe cut the generals off and you feed it to him. You Jesus. shove it down his throat, or something like that. Uh, you, okay, okay, they okay, shouldn't be. I think that's. No, I think that's. They, they should what, what, never be cruel and unusual punishment. Why not? By the state. Why no. not? Well, oh, by the state. I mean, the private. Uh, I'm talking. You're talking about a private business. You know, I I would support a private business taking care of this situation. business. Okay. What do you guys think the parents of that child would want to be done? Like that. No, the parents, the parents are apparently big fans of the Dalai Lama. Still, uh, I'm not oh, another oh, Dalai, oh, Dalai saying, Lama. No. And also, uh, the videos I've seen, the, I don't know. Podcast, it, was it, was the tongue podcast. actually touched? My understanding is he didn't actually suck the tongue. That's a straight he kid just right poked there. his tongue out at the kid. Yeah, and the kid that just kind of like and then looked said at it, some and weird that shit. It. That's what yeah. happened. He said no, weird shit. He poked his tongue out. Look, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean. If it's proven he's a pedophile, I'll feel like an idiot. 
But, but I'll, then I'll be like, then, okay, okay, then he's fair, in, fair. until then, you know? Sent into, until proven guilty. All right, okay. da- Dalai Lama, if you're listening, come on our podcast. We'll talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get the story out. Wow. Yeah, let's clear this. That let's would be. clear this story <laughs> out. Oh, my God. This Imagine. Bad. He comes on. He's like, <laughs> suck <laughs> 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 like, Fuck, fuck you. He sucks his tongue. fucking oh, grab that thing. That's awful. He's like, oh, hello. Oh, oh, no, no, don't mind if I do. It's a good tongue. You guys know dogs are taking the subway in Russia? Dogs, dogs are taking oh, the subway to work? I, did, I didn't know that was Russia, but I... I, I somewhere, somewhere out there in the world. By they, themselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're oh, like packs they, of they wild dogs, fucking... they, they use it to get around, and they, oh, they yeah. beg. They send the... I don't know how true this is, but from my oh. understanding, the, the cuter, <laughs> younger, like, normal dogs without, like, fucking uh, missing up. ear and, yeah, gnarled up... They will beg because they're the ones who are mo- more likely to get like food and they're stuff. Like a pit bull or something. And they'll bring. No, they're like a cute little. No, I'm saying instead of the pit bull it's, begging, yeah, the sorry, little like, of Shih Tzu the... is gonna. Exactly. Yeah. Damn, you ever see the video yeah, in they, India yeah. where the the one? Uh, There's actually a couple dogs before. Like I've seen them uh, multiple, but they they fake limping. Like they, oh they, yeah, yeah. They walk I've around. Seen that. Yeah, that's so funny. The what? reason I was like, because we were talking wow. about uh, are animals intelligent and stuff like that, and like dolphins use. Puffer fish to get high. Crows use, yeah, that's crazy. use little sticks. Monkeys use rocks to crack open seas. Dogs are using subways. Damn. Yeah. Dude, you know, um, Interesting. Uh, eagles will will lift up turtles and let them go. Yeah, so then they smash, smash them open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. There's a, there's a, I, I hear, right, I was watching this uh, little documentary about the nature, right, how the earth works. And uh, it was called the Island... No, Sea Wolves. It was called Sea oh, Wolves. I saw oh, it. Right? It's so good. It's really good. It's so good. What, what so, is it? What is it? Sea Wolves. It's so good. It's so, like uh, a, a, a documentary on basically the uh, northwest of Canada yeah. and what the wildlife. So. It's called, what, Vancouver Island. It's, it's Vancouver on. Island. Yeah. So yeah. essentially, oh. there's this there's this pack of you know a bunch of wolves that. Uh, they transition from island to island. They swim across the sea, which is very unheard Crazy. of in, in the nature. Yeah. In, in nature how for how wolves, long right? is the is the travel? It's like it's, it's like a like a football field away, but it's a Bering oh. Sea. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, so there uh there's these eagles, right? And I did not know that. Is there something called a Bering Sea? I don't know. Uh, Bering, Bering, you're thinking Bering, about the Bering, 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 Bering Straits. Straits. The Bering Straits. I'm, no, I'm saying, I'm saying the, the Bering Arctic Sea. The sea that bears the, the water. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just let it go. I saw you like... <laughs> I'm like, think I was like, what, I what's the I, definition of the Bering Sea? The Bering Straits. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying... That I just wanted to sound cool when I said sea. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It sounded cool. That's why I let <laughs> it go. No, I was like, you think I said Bering Sea? I said Bear and Sea. No, the Bering. Like, there's bears. It's a Bering Sea. Okay, okay. So... You're thinking of no, the Bering wait, Sea. Okay, so I may be right. The Bering Sea is a marginal sea okay, of the north correct, of correct. the northern Pacific Ocean. <laughs> That's where it is. I think. Yeah. Dude, I'm three for three Fuck today. I'm on it. Anyway, <laughs> he's like, so, I studied for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we would talk about this. <laughs> so <laughs> That's determinism, right? So there. you're yeah, like, I knew Ethan would bring it up. Win. I knew fucking. Well, you're always gonna win. So I, I knew Damon would question me about it, and I fucking proved it. There you go. I didn't know that. A lot of eagles only only one wins, right? When some when an eagle mama has eggs, she has two eggs, they both birth, yeah, yeah, and yeah. only one usually survives because yeah, it's usually, usually a dominant oh, eagle. So one will kill take, the other one or one, eat all the yeah, food, and one yeah. will eat all the food, and the other one starves and usually dies, and one, then it eats them. them. Yes, eats the dead one. Wow. It ate its brother. That's fucking nature. That bro. crazy bitch. That Damn. female. Spoiler alert the for it coming. It's a great. That's a really good. It's uh, on Netflix. Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. I binged that thing. So good. Yeah. How much did they pay us for that sponsorship? Netflix. Mm. A lot of money. Oh yes. Yeah, so yeah, buy more mugs. Buy more. Just mugs. for fun. Buy more mugs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm on a yeah. show. I'm on a show one that's going to be on Roku soon. Oh. Yeah. Are you to say that? It was a. It's a WWE thing. I told you guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can you give us another rap. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you ever freestyle? No, Jim. Bobby, give us your best freestyle right now. I can't. Do can it. you rhyme or something or you sing? No way. Can I you sing at all? My dad sings. Come on, come on. So try to rap. You must have rap. a little something. Rap yeah, that entertain anything. us, clown. <laughs> <laughs> give, sorry, us rap, give us something. Give us. Give us any rap. rap any rap. Yeah, anything. Know. Come on. You got it. Just think about anything. My name is Bobby. I like hot tamale. What I else? I have a hobby. <laughs> That's it. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> no, yeah, I I would hate to be on the spot. Okay, go try to rap. Try to rap. <laughs> no, no, no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, yeah you do it, pussy. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Fuck no. I, my How are you guys at public to... speaking? Ex- Fucking so murderer. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. comedian. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah. so uh, who I was talking about this um in Virginia with my stepdad, and. Uh, he was saying how his You're not friend, my real dad. Yeah, right? Sorry. You're not my real dad. <laughs> no. He was saying how uh, one of his buddies who is actually um, 
uh, a former Navy SEAL, he played the piano and sang or something, maybe just piano, in front of a crowd. And he said, like, he felt almost, like, more nervous being on stage than he did, like, going on missions. Like, it was, like, a weird feeling. And he's like, I can understand how, like, some of these people, like, these musicians go on drugs or whatever. And it's like, that is a no. true thing. That is a big fear. Uh, apparently, I don't know how true it is. Public speaking is, like, the number one fear over death. And I don't really know. I'm definitely public speaking. So when I was when I was doing the WWE tryouts, like I said, I had to pre present this promo in front of these group yeah. of people. And there was, like... People? I mean, there's probably like 50 athletes, and then fi like 50 you were or so in front of everyone at the same. Oh, that's yeah, horrible. like a class. Fuck, so I would hate it. 50 athletes that I, that I just met, and then 50 yeah. like producers, WWE it's like people. Like a seminar. Yeah. yeah, but but you're not. I, go but on, I, but I don't I'm want to acting, but too I'm much acting right. Seminar. I'm talking about jits. I know yeah, all the all there to see you. You're the. It's, it's so different than a seminar. Yeah. And in here, I have to act and you know portray like a little yeah. bit extra. So uh, there was a moment where you walk on there, pick up the mic, and like I felt like a little bit nervous, or maybe like my lip quivers, and like you have to like shut it down yeah. and just be completely dull, unemotional, but display emotion. So you have to be like out, you have to be outgoing. You and gotta show, control your yeah. emotions completely. Exactly, yeah. you have to show the emotion, but you can't be emotional inside. So it's a very delicate balance. I would not enjoy that. I. It was interesting. Yeah. I can I can do a seminar because they're they're there for you and you know it. I'm comfortable teaching jujitsu. It's what I, yeah. I do it every fucking day. You know? If you I have should. to be like they're like oh be funny like fuck oh be, my god be an I asshole. really am yeah. interested oh. in acting. You like, are what interested in, in interested in acting? That's weird because like, you have a face for radio. <laughs> fuck you. Oh. 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 Wow, that was awesome. Damn. You heard that joke before. You just stole that. Where did you hear that from? <laughs> that, that, that wasn't oh, a Nicky Rod joke. Yeah, he was <laughs> right. That, for was, that, that one. wasn't a Nicky Rod joke. He's like, I've heard this before. Um, dude, I feel like that's such a cool fucking uh, job acting? to have. Like, if you're a professional actor, really cool. that's fucking cool. Yeah. Dude, do you guys Athlete, think you could do better, it? Athletes better, though, because all actors would rather be athletes. Well, the thing is, you can be an would athlete they? and then transition to an actor. Def definitely. Like, a, a lot but I can't feel like be an you can't be an actor, actor and that transition yeah. to an yeah. athlete. Yes. No. I, th I feel like people, I feel like of, of all jobs, people respect athletes the most. Like, you want them, like, fighters. even if you own fighters, the guy that's owning Nike, fighters, they're using really. athletes yeah. to promote their shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if fighters are the most respected, though. Really? I think, I think, like, mixed martial artists right now are the most Pretty respected. respected. Well, yeah. I think they're it's, respected, but it's like, it seems like okay, it me, what? You get fucking Israel Adesanya making, what, maybe a million or two million dollars? Or you get fucking, like, messy. Yeah, but it's like, like hundreds it's of like, millions yeah, 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 of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're Soccer respected. Like yeah. Like, but they're making real, they're respected, like, insane but like, money. Yeah, that, okay, for money, that's another story. The f for sure, like, doesn't that mean? Doesn't Football, that quantify soccer. some amount of respect? The it amount does, of money. Yeah, it does. But if you take Messi and you introduce him to like fucking Volkanovski, Messi's. Or, I mean, some fighter that Messi knows. I don't know if he's a fan yeah, of it or not. Are the are the are the football like, leagues privately owned or that's owned yes. by the country? Yeah, no, no, no. They private, they they they're private, owned. They're private, private, owned. Yeah. It's like the NFL. You own uh, yeah, sports teams. Did you have you it guys ever watched Holy F1? shit? Yeah. No, you told you said you really like that. Dude, it's. It's very intense. It's a pretty big scene in Montreal, F1. Is it really? Yeah. There's a Grand Prix there like every... You know. So F1. There's a racetrack here. Yeah, yep, we should yep. go. There's a racetrack here. Dude, I was flying. When I, when I was uh, going to Virginia, I was flying. I just decided to look you out over... You could fly? I was, <laughs> I was flying. <laughs> I'm a right. bird. But I looked down you and there's this huge fucking track. I was like, what? Yeah. It looks sick. I yeah, definitely want to go. Let's go. Yeah, F F1 our is cars on <laughs> my Kia, my <laughs> shitty Ford, <laughs> or your Toyota. <laughs> yeah, Ford. Netflix did a really good job of of making the F1 series. It was kind of similar to like mm. I could see it being like transitioned towards a, a jujitsu like video, right? Because you have all these te all these like certain amount of high level racers, right? The interesting thing is they can only like they can't go out and practice year round. There's only a set amount of days in the year that they can actually practice. Why? Be it's because because uh. then the richest team will be the best, right? Well, they, they have they can train what? all. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's a rule. They're not allowed to practice. More I think than a set? I think I think pr they Definitely. have limited practices on the track, but they have VR and stuff, right? Yeah, but it's not the same thing as driving in the in the car. They're I think not the allowed simulator, to fucking think... go somewhere and drive a car. No, 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 there's no way, bro. I'm telling. There, there's what, a limit. They track them twenty four seven. They're like, oh, you, you drive a normal car. There's you also drive on the street. <laughs> no, it's not about the track. No, don't take that corner. Go take that. Whoa, whoa, slow down. You hug that corner too tight. Go back, take the Come. corner yeah. again, and slow it down. Okay, don't let him talk. 
Um, I'm talking. Okay, so <laughs> so most definitely they have a limited amount of time they can spend on the track racing, mm -hmm. but also throughout the year they can't go into a car and and do like F1 every day. It has to has to be like the simulator and stuff. Because if not, then only the richest team will be will be the best. They have yeah. The, it takes away the skill. It's of so expensive. Yeah, exactly. It's so expensive to run it. They yeah. also have pay caps to where they can only spend like five hundred million dollars. That's cool. a year or some I shit don't like think that. It's that much money. I mean, I don't know. Five hundred million dollars. That seems, so, dude. An F one car is. F1, it's like a small. Five hundred million. Yeah, I, I don't. I think that's F one spending number. limit. One hundred thirty five, one hundred forty million for uh, for uh, twenty twenty two. So, okay, uh, that's a lot less than five hundred, but that's still still, still a lot. Millions. Still a lot. An F one race car. That that actually is, actually is pretty cool. One hundred thirty five million machine. Yeah. yeah. Who who's the goat? There's a goat. Lewis Hamilton, I believe. Is that is is that in Hamilton? I mean, really? he he's a he's a current guy that's supposed to be like the best. There's another other, also. From? What's another big guy? Like, um, because I, I just had found one on like Instagram randomly, and I was like, oh, dude, this is pretty cool. I was just looking at his page. I was like, that's actually pretty fucking dope to be like, it's just insane. a sick ass race car driver. Bro, you, it's you're, crazy. Bro, they're that's risking their cool. life, bro. It's like that. Yeah. What's that guy, Bobby uh... Sandu? No, no, no. no. Yeah. Uh, Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Shake and bake. Switch up. Michael you Schumacher. If you're not first, what you're is last. it? If you're you ain't last. first, you're last. Um, you guys see the movie Rush? Rush. Uh, what is what, it? What is it? I, I, I have movie. seen it. I have seen it. What, why do it's I It's with uh, Chris Hemsworth. And uh, it's about Nicky Lauda and uh, his rivalry with... Oh, I have seen this. Yeah, I have seen this. What's it about? It's What's an it about? F1 movie. It's like an F1 movie, oh, and it's like a, it. a, a, a well-known rivalry in the F1 scene. Cool, it's kind of cool old. Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Cool <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's Bob Sweating. Jamaican yeah. Bob Sweating. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking that, movie. Yeah. They, yeah. they played Dude, that as, I, in school. So yeah, many we had to watch that in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ever watch Roots? Roots? Yeah. Roots? No. Bro, Choke? Choke? All right, here, question. You guys ever watched... um? Well, I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> What's the drummer movie? <coughs> oh, Drumline. Oh, I know, no, 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 no. Nick Cannon? Uh, you know. Yes. Oh, fuck. You know, it's so Nick good. Cannon. With the, the Whiplash. 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 Okay, drummer guys. Movie. So, it's so good. So, the, basically, so good. the premise is there's this drummer that wants to become the top of the top, right? Um, and the instructor is just... It's basically like John. Well, that's the thing. And I, wanted, I want to know, how do you feel about that in type of environment that instruction like do you need that because in the end of the movie basically the the instructor is just this guy that doesn't care about you at all pretty much it just will degrade you call you shit but he's a perfectionist and he does demand the highest level from his students so in the end the guy d did make it to the top even though they they hated each other do you I think, think that's necessary no i don't think it's necessary but i think it's one way to reach like, Maybe there's, there's multiple ways to there skin are, the cat there's there's many ways to skin a cat. There, yeah, there's definitely the to, psychological yeah. battle in there. Like you hear Tyson talk about, like this guy was since the day they started. He was like, "You're going to be the fucking best." Demato, in the world. You're going to be customato. Yeah, customato. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think those coaches they they're like the psychological battle. I think it's about the, your relationship with the coach. If yeah. it works, great, and then you'll go as far as you can, which is. If it's you know if you're a good athlete and he's a good coach, you're gonna go far and you'll be great. Something but, that John Danaher you know, did re really well for us, or for me specifically, that he would do a good job of getting me to peak mentally. So like he would give me a, a, f a few compliments when I needed them, and he sh he'd be like, "Oh, show me this, show me that after practice." Yeah. And then like you know, I just felt I just felt like he did really good a job at boosting in confidence when it was like the right when time. It was time when to when do you it. when yeah. you mean show me, he would get you to show <laughs> show me like, yeah, he would, moves. He would be he would be like, don't know my <laughs> yeah. see that? He'd be like, <laughs> uh, yeah, he'd be like, show me double kuchi, show me wrestle up, show show me guard pass, show me uh you know uh, J wow. point shit like that. So he would he would do stuff like that, but ultimately he would give give me and I would see he would give the guys certain kind of compliments at the right time and be like, oh, I'm gonna kill this competition. Mm. Yeah, you're good at that. You're yeah, he doesn't overfeed the confidence. Right? How well yeah. do you guys? So so uh, I was talking about this with my Muay Thai coach because so my Muay Thai coach actually um, uh, at Ambush Muay Thai, his name's Elton Wells. He actually has a system a fighting system that he wrote down he's like also like a software uh programmer so it's all written in actually like on his laptop essentially this whole in-depth system of fighting and um he wants to teach it 
But the thing is, is like, you know, not all fighters are going to be a conceptual learner. So John definitely had a system of fighting, but how well do you guys understand the system of fighting versus just knowing how to do the moves is the thing. Because like, like everyone got better. And yeah, right? Look, if you're training, if you have some kind of awareness of what's going on, you're going to get better no matter what. It's about how fast you're going to improve, right? So like, I, I think there were, there were plateaus and I think there were parts where I was stagnating because like, I don't know, I either... It's hard to identify like where where the breakthroughs come. There were for sure breakthroughs in Puerto Rico. There are breakthroughs at Henzo's and there are breakthroughs here. But I think it's me personally. I think it's been more like internally than my relationship with. Jordan, I had a, I, I had this like, I had a bit of a, a plateau like occasionally. Maybe like every like six months, I felt like I was plateau. Like that, yeah, yeah. Like when I was training uh, under John, right? Uh, occasionally, I hit a plateau, and I would be like. I would definitely contemplate taking gear. I'd be like, fuck, I think this would help me out tremendously. <laughs> um, damn, I had a point I was going to. I lost it. <laughs> Plateaus in your relationship with John Every or something six in your relationship. Oh, yes. Okay, so I was like uh, – let me take a sip of this. Clear yeah, take another hit. Maybe that will help. No. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> clouding his mind. Yeah, when you – you you'd hear about like you know the Danaher systems. Mm. Were you guys kind of doing the same stuff in key positions? Okay, this is what I was trying to say. So before I was like, before I was he forgets again. <laughs> <laughs> before, before, hurry, was, hurry, hurry, hurry! Come before, on, quick! Before I was adamant about learning technique, I would literally go to practice and I'd be like, I'm just not gonna stop moving until I escape. Right. So hypothetically, I'm like, like turtle, turtle round, like taught me a lot about myself and about like, obviously technique, but like, it's a fucking grind. When you got Gordon on top of you for 20 minutes and turtle round, it's like, this shit don't make you a fucking tough guy. I think turtle situation is probably the, the single most important I avoid it. situation. I don't yes. do it. So not get I wouldn't, so no, what? Do I like not get hooks in ship? To, to, yeah, to understand Escape. defensive and offense, like offense and defense turtle, I think is like... It's a, one of the most common scoring positions So in important to get yeah. good there, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, continue. So, yeah, so just my point was that, like, like until I sort of really started valuing technique, my mindset wasn't like, oh, let me learn how to get out yeah, or get yeah, better. Yeah. I would just be like, I'm let just going to try... Let stop moving. Yeah. Just I'd, be like, I'm, I'd be like, I'm just going to try as hard as I can to keep moving and get out. <laughs> Wow. And now it's like I I understand Did that why work sometimes it worked all the time all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I would just but, so this goes in this goes to show that like you don't actually need to know the system then because do you know what you were like definitely if I the was, other person knows the system you're gonna you're gonna figure out through osmosis because he's gonna be trying to do x y and z to you and you're just did moving, you think figure everybody it out. had a lot of knowledge back then the average guys in the John they were very knowledgeable um yeah. I think I, I think so. a lot of the guys were but then the thing is is like not everyone had the same depth of understanding. Like yeah. even the depth of knowledge didn't have to equate to their skill. Like there were guys that were way more skilled but didn't understand what they were talking about, yeah. and then vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah I, I was a big conceptual learner though. Like I would do concepts like, oh, the second my guy gets grips, I remove all of his grips. Like and then I had this constant battle where I shut their their offense down, and then I start my offense because I found a concept that like really worked for me. But that's if not I, John's concept, is the thing. No, that's shit, not... I mean, I definitely definitely found my own concepts. Um, I mean, I feel like John taught concepts. Yeah, uh, but but did you like that's what something is I found myself? Yeah, yeah. Like, that 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 idea there is like, you know, John doesn't really teach that, but he'll talk about like. The concept of inside position. Yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. In in most positions, in pos, inside position is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand inside position? Yeah, I'm just saying. If you if <laughs> I'm if I if I'm uh, standing for seated, if I'm standing for seated and I'm seated, I'm gonna look to get grips and get my feet inside, get my arms inside of his. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah win the position. Like those he, concepts are. He has a lot of very useful terminology. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it was such an easy. I think um, the biggest thing that uh, that John probably did was that he was able to transfer the knowledge uh, very easily to make it make you understand it well. At least that's how I felt. I I can't imagine jujitsu without an inside heel hook, and until you, said you he can't came, imagine what. Yeah, like to me now, like the inside heel hook is such an important part of. Oh, that's like your main. That's your best weapon right well, now. Well, even in general, I'm I'm like it's. ADCC would look so different if the inside heel hooks weren't a thing. Or oh, heel hooks in general. Were there? Were there? There weren't that many. That's kind of. Is that the reason? Is that big because of Danaher? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Eddie Cummings, right? Eddie Cummings, uh, Gary, John. 
That was the biggest. That was like the beginnings. Probably of, a matter of time before someone got to it. It's, well, Dean Lister, you know, I guess. You know, Dean Lister, yeah. you know. Yeah, John they, said he they got were it doing it. You, you, did right. you, you learn leg locks from John? Yeah, I learned. I got better at them when I was there, but I was definitely heel hooking people before I ever went to Henzo's. I just really? wasn't like proficient. Well, actually, it's it. different for me because I only learned from them. Uh, you guys want to hear a funny story about near the end of Puerto Rico? Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> we're chilling at uh, Mo's house. We're having like a group dinner there, right? Who's we're, we? Who's we? The whole team. Like John. Were there? What? I was there? Probably. Okay. Yeah, like the, the whole team was there, right? And uh, this is when, you know, the tensions were a little higher than they, it was like near okay. the end. Okay, you know? okay. And uh, I'm, Liam's there. Liam's sitting next to me, and we're all at the table eating. And it's it's Liam, me, uh, Big Dan, and someone, and someone, and someone, and then John at the end of the table. And we start talking, and uh, Big, it's so, I forget how it came up, but like Big Dan goes to me. He's like, "Hey, bro, guess what? I finally, uh, I finally won something, or something like that." And I'm like, "Oh, what are you talking about?" He's like, "I was voted the second dumbest person on the team." <laughs> <laughs> who's the first and then i'm like oh who's the first and he goes it's you <laughs> and and i'm like oh that's interesting who had this vote and he starts basically telling me how john and like some people were like yeah ethan's the dumbest person wow. on this team and Liam goes to me he's like that kind of disproves his point because <laughs> he I definitely wasn't supposed to know that like essentially john's like oh ethan's the dumbest person on this team so Liam hears this and he's like, well, he probably wasn't supposed to say that to you. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, that was funny. What Liam said was really funny. What did funny. Liam he's say? Like, he's like, well, I guess that makes him the number one dumbest because he wasn't supposed to tell you that. Uh, yeah, there were uh, – what was the thing that you – like we all, we all left for our own reasons, right? What was one of your – primary reasons for not being like nah i'm gonna stick with these Dude, because i thought you, know? you i thought you came for like gordon john gary and you know, me yeah, nah, we on. were giving you that work yeah we'll probably have to bleep this uh, we'll decide uh, if we think? bleep it we'll decide if we bleep yeah, we'll, it we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see is um, it not i mean we're not gonna say anything it's just us boys. It's just the boys. It's just the boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I would say uh, one of the one of the bigger things is that he was like, I mean, obviously, you know, this. Uh, oh, I remember. The stuff ABCC. with the stuff with uh, was you know absolutely unacceptable. That was like yeah. The main now we don't need us. to talk about. But like our but own. But some some uh, some that's like a cherry on top. He's like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the heavyweight division, yeah. and, and I'm gonna force Nikki Rod to go down, to go down. It's like, nah, you where to where did you that. first Ooh. hear that that was in the works? I think this I think is when fine. I got, I think it's very interesting. We never even talk about it. It's our own side of the story. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fucking, fine. It's not yeah. it's not yeah. like talking shit or anything. Yeah, I think. Uh, Why did so we that leave? in a yeah, way. so yeah. that was yeah, that was pretty much the that was definitely one of the one of the main reasons, but wasn't uh, wasn't the biggest reason. You know, there's definitely other shit that we you know. Yeah, about. for your own like a cherry on top. Yeah. Your own reasons. Yeah, but that was uh, I was like, all right, like you know, I, you know, it's it's different when you're training to compete and training train to learn. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, so it changed the environment in the room for you, like that decision. Yeah. To go uh, into also, the... also that was like, that was pretty much I when I landed in Austin for match then i i learned that because i was out on the pretty much team was together i oh, was out on my seminar tour and oh. then i land straight in also for nikki nikki ryan's oh match. yeah so you didn't know that, that, that i didn't that know happening. nothing that happened and then yeah, yeah then yeah. pretty much two weeks later i meet up with you guys and he and the whole everything yeah, changed. so you're like, like wow oh wow. uh, shit okay yeah, yeah but so, so um why wouldn't you want to give the spot to to gordon well i mean because I mean, he, like, he just like not supposed to be that heavy. He just did too much gear and got like, big, you know. Oh, like, Jesus. yeah. So, uh, no, it's my weight class. I'm, I'm, and I, I want pound for pound number one. I don't want to be anything else. So it's very difficult for you to get a pound for pound number one. I just, be, so you just be Gordon, and I'm good. Because you have so no. many pounds, you're saying. No. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like, it's it's very rare for 
the biggest guy to be I'll go against all the guys. Like you can go, you can be small. absolute, but it's like, okay, does that mean your technique is better than like Cade Rutel? No, it's but not for technique. Pound is, it's about it's just a, a per, like a yeah. If you win one month, if, the, if you win yeah. the Olympics uh, with one move, it doesn't matter if the guy's technique is better than yours or he has more. You won. No, you won the absolute. I'm saying, but it's like. The pound for pound. What's the metric? Comes in. He's what, saying what, it, like MMA is by looking at it's looking at skill set across the weight. MMA is different, but in jiu-jitsu we can go against each other because we're not throwing punches. Right. No, you, the thing is you can't. You can't really go against each other. Yeah, you it's could like, do Gordon and like six, like sixty six is never gonna beat you know. Bro, Lachlan, yeah. what are you talking about? What do you mean? Lachlan, he'll yeah, hold Conan Duarte. Yeah. He's uh, uh, yeah, seventy seven. No one at sixty six has ever won. Absolute, and it's not because of lack of skill is the thing. What weight was Marcelo? 77. 77. Okay, well, get, <laughs> was, go against Nick Seriano. It's probably about a 66. That's you know, cool. Lachlan back Hope home, someone gave Lachlan $150,000. Oh, yeah. 100,000. 100,000 100, UK. Oh, yeah, US. US. And wow. said distribute it, and Lachlan's got a bunch of conditions to meet, and he's going to give half of it to different brown Who and black. Who did that? Players. I don't know, random. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's Lachlan, honestly. I mean, he would say, "I would what? I would? I'd, I'd what? be like, this is my money. You're welcome." Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. And a hundred k. Fuck. No, they don't deserve it. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, there was. Uh, it was funny. I, I really didn't expect the team to split up until like the very, very end of it. I was kind of like. It's just gonna be shitty for a long time. I thought you guys <laughs> like, would fucking shit up. I was like, God damn it! This is this was well, a miracle. You went the other way. This was a mi- you mean yeah. the team was a miracle and the team. Yeah, yeah, imagine like we were in New York yeah, City. It was nuts. We were we were traveling good, yeah. from Jersey to Manhattan. We never should have of left everything. The, Listen, leaving New York. Destroyed. Well, anyways, we're, we're traveling to Manhattan, the hub of the city, where world class jujitsu fighters, world class. MMA fighters are coming to train with us with 120 people on the mats. Wow. We're fucking training yeah. twice a day. We're going to have lunch in the city just to go back and train again. Then we're traveling an hour and a half back just to train in Monroe Township where fucking... We, like on the weekend, sometimes you would come. I would be there. Was You're sick. there. there was sick. Gary's that there. Shit, Gordon's like there. Nicky's there. Sessions, the... Eddie Cummings would be there. It's fucking... Yeah, like, nah, he wasn't around when I, when wasn't I came. Wasn't there like a lot, but it's yeah. like... Man, it was just I can't believe how good it was. Yeah. I cannot believe we should, we it was a fucking miracle. We never should have gone to Puerto Rico. It was such This is why I think the the main reason we all kind of like we all wanted to leave Puerto Rico split or no split. Well, we all wanted to leave. There's no uh foot traffic. Here people are coming through Texas. New York people are coming through New York. There's what does it nothing. Matter? I think it makes a huge difference for uh freshness, I guess. No, you, no, yeah, I think for, for random, uh, yeah, dude, I think it matters. I think you'll get way more training partners in I Austin or in yeah, New no, York no, City versus in fucking Puerto Rico. No, the fa- team, Puerto Rico's the sick, team didn't leave because we didn't have lack of because of lack of training partners, though. I think lack of uh, cross pollination oh, in Puerto Rico. Like that. Yeah, what? I think it just it was just the living it was stagnant. Also, there's like Puerto Rico is a, a place that you go when you've made all the money. Yeah, right? and you're done. When you got millions, it's a retirement and, and plan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's when you go to Puerto Rico. But when you're trying to make money, it's you like be off grid. Else. You can't. You got to be in the mix. Well, how did you yeah, guys you know? all decide to go to Puerto Rico? It was um, it was actually between Puerto Rico and Texas. I think Gordon, uh, and John really wanted to leave because first COVID sucked. Then they were paying a lot of money in taxes. We have no power. Well, we, we all wanted. We, we, we trained a bunch. A no, we took a vote. We took a vote. We all took wait, a vote. Wait, wait, wait. What no power? Huh? Oh, no, 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 I'm saying I'm Who saying voted? We had no, oh, no power no in Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Dude, guys, Damien's like no, no, it was a democracy. We, no, we no, 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 fucking... no, no. Well, I thought you were gonna say that we had no power in the say. Uh, we had no say, guys. We fucking were in Puerto Rico. This is oh. world class training. Multiple times. Power outs. They they have just an unstable like power grid. Power would go out. It's fucking Puerto Rico, ninety-five degrees with no fan, and we had we Dude, had that fan work was lights. a lifesaver. I didn't, I didn't realize. realize. Yeah, that was suddenly you're in like a cave with the the metallic roof cooking Just, you. As yeah, you're, it's an you're oven, like, and the thing is, there's lights, and the lights emit heat. Like they're the hottest or work the lights. lights or something. Or? I don't know. They were like wor- yeah. construction work Gary, lights. Gary, <laughs> Gary bought them from like yeah. Home Depot or something. Kudos to Gary. He's school. like, there's darkness. He, I'm gonna he, solve it. Well, yeah. He's he was like, he was like, okay, it. I'm gonna buy like a thousand dollars worth of lights and batteries that he charges at his house. And he they were like outdoor trunk. restaurant heat lamps. They're <laughs> fucking like... crazy. But we would be drenched in sweat training yeah. in this fucking. It's not thing. good. It not was good. nuts. Yeah. It was nuts. 
That but man, it was tough, still man. it was fucking cool, man. It was a cool it, story. I would not. I would want it to happen again. Like if I went back in time, I think it had to happen. It had to happen, dude. Was, we got a good thing going at BT, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's it's it, that. Yeah, it lined up. It was back to determinism. Were we were we meant it was to fatalism. create? It was it was all written. It was meant to happen. Yeah, yeah B team's fucking growing. Everyone's growing. What did you write here, huh? What is that? What is schools? Worry, don't worry about that. I think I do think we don't want to talk about that. I think one thing that really um, helped. I mean, you already had a brand built. Craig already had a brand built. But I think. Uh, specifically for me, uh, I think my brand got bigger uh, being at B Team. Well, why like, did you go to to there originally? Well, because Gary was my uh, instructor. He brought me into the sport. You know, I wanted to be loyal to him, and he had a title fight coming up, so I didn't want to leave him for that. And then, um, you know, I was there for you know a couple months, and then just like things started happening. Like uh, that kind of you like you were living with Nikki. I was living with Nikki. That that was def- definitely added a little bit of tension. The fact that I was yeah. living with him, and then um, because he's my housemate, and then like you know I'm now living with the enemy. So then that that yeah. was always kind of like you know playing into the minds, and then um, just one thing led to another, and I was like you know what like fuck this, I, I gotta go. Um, but uh, what the Here fuck we are we are. talking about? What were we talking? Oh, Come but on. I think I do think that I mean. B team does a great job of marketing, which that helps with money. Like that helps all things. of us. It helps everything. Yeah, yeah like, it's it's a marketing circle where like everyone's sharing each other's shit. It's just like it just helps grow everyone. Like all tide, 100%. like a rising tide raises all ships. Versus, yeah. I feel like yeah. at, at New Wave, maybe not so much. Maybe maybe it's not the same. Which like granted, like they're they're yeah. also we have a council here. It's not just one person that says yes or no. Yeah, you know, we have a vote. It's a vote. It's a it's a a collaboration. It's and yes, it's more like one guy. You know, we all we all raised each other. It was starting to not feel like that. Yeah, in in my opinion as well. And uh, here we are. Here we are. How were you confident in the MMA aspect of your training? Pre, you know, before you came to BT. Um, to be honest, I took. I was literally the type of person that whatever John said, it was true, gospel through. through. It was I didn't like. I think that's the only way to really go good. You gotta believe this guy a hundred percent in order in order to absorb. As that. soon as doubt starts to seep in a crack, you're you gotta do something about it. Dude, you gotta I either think, like address it, confront it, or I really it. think that you have to like you have to be super super careful of who you listen to as far as coaching wise. But then once you choose the coaches that you're gonna listen to, you have to just have tunnel vision. I think. You can question, and then you can see. That's what I mean. It's, it's got to be. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I feel like there's got to be a, a, a collaborative effort. It's a it's a conversation. I wanna. I want my coach to be like, try this, and I try it, and it's we brainstorm. I want it to be like, a, like we're learning something together. With, or like with we're, John, it was authoritarian. Yeah, but honestly, I, I was think, I was fine with it, but I just I, dude, dude I mind. think fucking I honestly think that is the way to learn the fastest. A like, lot of people there, say, believe that. Yeah, there was in wrestling, they tell us to buy in. You, whatever mm. coach is telling you, buy in a hundred percent. Yeah, and I, I would even go as far, so as far as to say so first, like having that mentality, so then you can just you are just now a receptacle to be given information. You're spoon fed, mass spoon fed, and you just take it and you believe it, and now you do it. That's At the, the beginning, yes. Okay. Then once you start to get good enough to branch off and master, there's some things about my whatever part of my game that you got that better. I'm better at, and and I know that I'm better at it. And what John is saying, or what whatever coach is saying, like well, actually, they're... there's nuances for my specific body for sure. that I've figured out in competition in the gym. That this one specific way you pass, you put your hips here, you put your arm here. I know that's good. I know that's better. Yeah. For, but, but so but like, I would, so... you can learn. You can just give and take. Yeah, but you say no. like the buy-in mentality. I think that's even. I mean, I, I agree with that. Look, but at, at black belt, at white belt, blue, purple, yeah, listen to your fucking coach. Y- odds are you don't know what the hell you're talking. Odds are you're not going to master any aspect of jiu-jitsu until you get to, like, you know, at least, like, years, eight years, years of, of competitive and real experience. But until now the thing, then or something, you know, yeah. Just but the next thing is, is that, like, if you do buy in, then it's, like, I think the person, even if one person has the right technique to do, but they're not that sure of it, and then you have one person that has a subpar technique but believes in it a thousand percent, that person will usually trump the person like in competition. I think I think confidence in your technique yeah. is greater than than yeah. high level you, technique. You'll, you'll perform up instead exactly. of 
instead yeah. of going yeah, down yeah. is the thing. And yeah. I think that's what the buy in thing is like. If you if you learn something from this person that you believe is is the next coming of Christ, and yeah, like yeah. I had such expecting confidence in a technique yeah, yeah, yeah. to work is is a is like a bit of a superpower. Like yeah. if I really like if I genuinely like I'm not lying to myself. I genuinely believe I could pass this guy's guard, or I can. It's a huge thing. It's, it's massive. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. like, imagine like you're going at somebody and you pass their guard. And you're like, oh shit, this is like, They're, fuck that. Like, you're gonna be a little got... surprised. They might bump you off or something. Yeah, instead exactly. Of, like, instead of like, I, I know that this is gonna happen, and I'm waiting for the the counters. I'm waiting for the panic. I'm waiting for the freak yeah. out. You know, mm -hmm. you're one of the best aspects yeah. of uh, training with DDS as well was the conversations we'd have. Like hours, we, hours after training. Yep, hours yeah. after training, talking like amongst each other, and then some. Then the talk of technique would come up, and we'd have like ten of the best guys in the world working Good brainstorming, to yeah. have to make this to make different different problems. Right, brainstorming together. It was like it was intense, it, yeah, unlike any good. other room. We yeah. we have our own version of that at B team, and I. Yeah. swear by it like i love there's like groups that form and you know we all have yeah. our own discussions kind of doing their own thing i love right. it we and i kind of like nowhere else I'll, I'll like look around the room at the end of practice and i'll like like today like today we're doing exactly 50 -50 yeah thing. and i got the idea of like i'm like what i saw you doing that uh, with nikki Rod, yeah, yeah and i'm like i what do i do from there and then like me and melman were drilling our own thing and we come up with what we posted today yeah yeah. mine was way better but you know <laughs> mine's anyway, more effective yeah. no maybe <laughs> 50, 50. But yeah, I mean, we have it, a good we good. have a good thing at B. Yeah, I think, I think it's a great thing yeah. to be honest, and I, I I think, I think, the marketing aspect of it is something that is overlooked because you can do both at the same time. You don't have yeah. to just do marketing, you and don't. that helps everyone. Because what's going to happen if we didn't have that? Like, there's going to be there's going to be guys there who are like, well, fuck, what am I going to do? What am I going to? How am I going to make money? How am I going to yeah. support myself How am I gonna and make train money? properly? How, like, like you, you get know? matches, you get you want to be like yeah, with bigger exactly. brands, you're going to be on bigger name, yeah. bigger cards. If B teams up here, and you're like around B team posting, affiliated with the team. Guys are going to choose you to you're exactly to be team, on there and come onto the simple yeah. man and drink some prime. Yeah, exactly, that's it. That's it. Bobby's <laughs> been on a tear. He's been fucking yeah, What's Bobby, your... dude, you fucking compete yeah. like every week. And you say you have mass That's anxiety you before a competition? So you don't hilarious. like it? It's go it's getting better. I think the first there was that guy, uh, Nasif. I had a match with Nasif. Oh, no. Nasif, that's a new wave guy? Yeah. What's yeah. his last name? I don't remember his name. Okay, but okay. I just remember halfway through I'm like, man, I should fake an injury or something. Pretend I my remember knee, you saying that. My meniscus. But I didn't. I you asked me you today, how through. do you you asked me today, how do you build mental strength? No, well, this is it was uh, Kenta and I were having a, a conversation. Is Kenta, Kenta said to me confident? he thought he was mentally weak also. Oh, uh, why is that? Really? He's, and he's done MMA. You know what? I think s Kenta's fought MMA. I don't think Kenta's yeah. fought MMA. He's like 3 and 0. Oh. Uh, you know, Rob Deagle is an MMA I know, player. I think he's like 5-1. He was supposed one. to be here he today. He's leg-locked a guy. Uh, he, his flight got canceled. Oh, his flight got canceled, yeah. Yeah, but what, what, you're Come saying on. something. Oh, you were saying something about something about Kenta? Um, MMA fighter. Kenta Ken Ken Mental Ken confidence. Oh, yeah, mental confidence. And what did I, I, tell, you, what did I tell you today? You remember what I said? Because you asked me. You said something Do really you remember simple. what you said? Uh, what was it? <laughs> Believe in yourself, America. God. You were, I was like, I was like, <laughs> no. yeah. I was like, you asked me, how do you build mental strength? I was like, yeah. just don't stop. You're like, what do you mean? I'm like, when others stop, you don't. You're gonna wow. clip that. We're gonna clip that. That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. A nice one. No, yeah. I mean, fuck. I think I think mental toughness can be trained. I think yeah. to an extent. I think you're you are kind of born or not. I like, was for sure it, like. I reckon both times you passed my guard today. You gave it up. I was like, oh. You gave it up. Bro, that's I can how, feel I, it. I can feel it. A lot yeah, of people. He's a good guard, but you give it. You're but like, I also get oh, tired. I'm too tired. <laughs> I do get tired. <laughs> it's not like I'm lying. I'm tired, bro. It doesn't matter if you're tired. You just keep going. But uh, most of the matches happen. Most of the submissions and matches happen towards the end of the match because the guy gets a little sloppy. He gets a little lazy, a little tired. And he starts, starts giving break. up a little yeah. bit. And, and then you can take a whole lot. It's interesting because some people I'm retaining guard against, and I'm, I'm actually th getting the cardio advantage. I'm I'm way more efficient than they are. But yeah, other they're people, jumping around, not effectively mm. passing your guard. Then you're just gonna chill. Like gonna like Giles, and, yeah. his guard, his guard's crazy. No, good. Didn't no one pass yeah. his guard? Uh, did, did you train? Did you, did you, <laughs> I'm the rod, bro. You, I mean, I'm you massively you bigger. Hard, than you trained harder than? No, not at all. Yeah. Did you pass the guard? He was worried yeah. about you. He was worried. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to hurt him or nothing. He's an yeah. older guy, you know. I mean, he didn't want to heal up you. Um, that's he, could, I he couldn't. I definitely. Yeah. I, definitely <laughs> I definitely did some. We did some leg exchange. Some yeah, yeah. Did exchanges. you try the Rakashi? <laughs> nah, I did the the Roddy. Oh, the okay. Roddy. Interesting. Interesting. Fuck. Also, you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no, he, has, he has an amazingly good guard. Amazing. Yeah, I watched. Yeah. I watched north him versus Cade. Nicky Ryan. I watched him versus Cade, and he was north south for a very long time until he got on board. It's so hard to settle tough. north south on him. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, like having a good guard like that, like you're talking about, like. You, if your guard is good, one one metric is are you getting tired or is the guard passer getting tired? Another metric is like how much you can latch on and counter back, counter mm. attack with either legs or off balances. Like if I'm completely like on my feet and doing what I want to do, I don't think your guard is as good as it could be. Maybe yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm on skates. This, repeat that. Repeat that. If I'm t completely on my feet, balanced the majority of the time, then you're not doing the right thing to me from guard you should be off balancing off me balance. you should be like t yeah, taking yeah, my yeah. ankle into your into your situation where you want my ankle like you can't just be kazushi like, kazushi yeah, yeah, no, sakuraba no no, no, no. Off 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 you got balance balance yeah, no. who do you guys do think beats kato tolo today i think i think i could beat anyone uh, <laughs> i do i truly think i could beat anyone but i like who in in one or who in right now? In you think you became right now? You you get a call. You're gonna. What's face, his weight? I believe in myself. He's a little bit bigger, but maybe like 170, 175. I wow. could find a way. Looks I could big. find a way. Yeah, he's he's very big. He probably cuts to that. I probably. Think. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So you think it, he's crazy good, man? I want to see both I, of them are so good. I, I want to give it a couple years man. and then Jay. That would just be. Crazy. Damn. That would be an ultimate Jay's match. The like give Jay, a few yeah. more do you, years. Do you know? Wait, like a good time before trials. I was sitting against the match. Which trials? Great. Which trials? West Coast. Okay, yeah. So before anyone knew who Jay was, well, oh, yeah. a few people knew. I was sitting with Craig on the mats, and I asked Craig, I was like, who do you think he is going to be like the next up and comer? Mm -hmm. He said Jay. And he said Jay. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. had no. I mean, at I knew that Jay that point, was, And I Cra asked him why. Yeah. And he said, because he wants it the most. Yeah, at that really? point, yeah, Jay, yeah, yeah. that's bad. sick. At Jay that point, bad? Jay had been training with Craig like every day. Remember oh. that was that was that. He time. knows he feels that when he trades. He's like, oh, yeah. I want to kill. Yeah, leave me some wow, of that wow. in the queue. I need that. Yeah, you're getting wow. too smart. You need to. Uh, yeah, that was. I um, had no idea that Jay was gonna do well. I had no yeah, idea, bro. Like, Jay didn't know. Yeah, Jay. Jay, had no Jay idea. didn't know. He's Jay just like, I want it. You knew. You knew. I you did not it. know. Uh, yeah, before trial, before uh, West Coast trials. Um, somebody asked Craig, they're like, who's, who's got the best chance of, of winning? And there, and Craig was like, well, I think Vince has the best chance of winning. And I was like, I was like, word. I said me. <laughs> I, I said like, me. Word. I was like, word. I hear that. I think, I think Vince is going to win, do well, but J-Rod knows how to compete. So no, no one said me. Yes, he does. No one yes, said Davy. I thought I thought you'd win. No I thought you'd beat Keith. I thought, gonna, no, I, said, thought I was gonna most. win. I thought yeah, I was gonna believe. fucking win. Really I genuinely believed, believed it. I, thought, I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna fucking win I, this shit. I thought everybody that competed on beat Keith was gonna I, win. I kind of thought that too. Well, yeah. actually, I thought I that thought at you, ADCC. I thought J, uh, I thought I didn't know Jay. I didn't know yeah, Jay. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna win. I thought Vince was gonna win too. I thought Vince was gonna win. And at ADCC, I thought we were. I thought it was going to be a legendary I really B team. Thought, I really thought B team yeah. gold medal. Like yeah. I was like, wow, we're going to be the best team on earth. Like Dude. every single division is yeah. going to win. It's it still. Fucking, it was amazing. It was the, the Ethan, the Nikki, Ryan, man. Isaac, uh, Craig, you. Boom. I thought other well, B team's going to have five gold medals. It was insane. I was like, wow. So did any other teams? Did, how many did Atos have? Six. Me how many Wait, gold medals? No, 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 no medals. medals. How many com competitors? I don't know. They had the two Rotolos. They had Hinger. They had Kainan. AJ was representing Atos. AJ, but... and then they had uh, Galvao, right? And what's the next team you would say has the most amount of guys in that? We, New Wave. We are, oh, New Wave. New Wave had one more than us. So it's, they're, they're the three biggest teams? Uh, for representative the big, wise, yeah. representative wise yeah. from one gym? Well, be biggest, biggest team in the world is uh, best team in the world, B team. Yeah. No, I know. B Team Jiu Jitsu, that. Austin, Texas. In terms of representatives at ADCC, those are the top three, right? I think. B Team, Autos, New Wave, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. The 10th Planet? Has Fight Sports. Planet? Fight Sports has a lot, a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, Mika, uh, Fabricio, um, Diogo. Who do you think has a better chance at winning trials, Kenta or Joseph? Ooh, the yeah. rematch. They're, they're, they also, fought each other? That's, that's my division. Yeah, they did. Kenta beat Joseph, right? 
I don't know. Wow, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah, Kenta B. Joseph, but. But. Kenta B. Sorry, uh, Joseph B. They're both B. 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 But I don't know. Kenta, Kenta, oh, Joseph beat who? Andrew? Kenta beat Joseph. Yep. Yeah, wow. He threw him. Body yeah. lock. Crazy. Wow. Standing rear body lock. Yeah, yeah. Joseph's so fucking good. Crazy Joseph good. When's good. he get here? Do you know? I hope he stays away. I hope that they intercept him at the border. <laughs> yeah, so I hope good. the Chinese government, they get him on some chart. He's got a good guard. Yeah, he's, he's only been training for like three years. Good he's guard? He's got crazy. Pass. He passes. Oh, yeah, his passing is very when good. When he but first like came, I remember really high step passing him like no problem. He learned it. And then give fast. it like four yeah, months yeah, yeah. later, he Absorbed starts it. fucking me up. I'm like, oh, my God. He, even like fuck? one day to Hunker, like man. even like from like a Wednesday to Thursday, he learns I know. fast. He, he trains like three times a fucking day. He said to me, Bob, I was like cut with him in Australia. I'm like. You fucking just started training yesterday. You're so young. You're so, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? You're so much better than me. And he goes, Bobby, I've watched more jiu-jitsu than anything you've ever seen. Wow. wow. And I was like, I've watched a lot of porn, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still Damn. pretty bad at sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still bad. <laughs> and I still know oh, three seconds. Oh, <laughs> shit, guys. I got to go. I got to go. Oh, wow. We were having such a great time. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you guys can continue going or we can cut it short. How long are we oh, going? Let's, let's cut it. Uh, yeah, Beautiful. yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys done? Okay. Thanks for watching Simple Man Podcast. I'm Damien. Nikki Rod. Ethan Crellinston. Bobby Sanders. Check out our TikTok.